There was a time when curved displays meant premium smartphones, especially on Samsung's top tier smartphones because they were basically the king of this tech. Curved to the latest Samsung S24 lineup has no curved screen anywhere to be seen. Like the last S23 Ultra still had a very slight curve, but the S24 Ultra has no curve at all and maybe not even in the future upcoming models too. Instead other companies are opting for these for their more budget phones to make them look premium. But then why are these premium brands are shifting away from this, be it Samsung or Pixel or any other brands? Well this trend for curved display started like around 11 years ago from the Samsung Galaxy round which didn't have the curved display that we see today but instead an upside down horizontal curve all throughout the display. But still through this Samsung showed the potential of a curved display for the future. Then the next year on 2014 Samsung introduced the Samsung Note Edge which had the first iteration of a curved display even though from just one side only but this was basically the foundation of the modern curved display phones. As slowly and eventually people started to see that this is the future and compared to all the flat displays available back then these curved displays just looked more appealing and premium looking. And so Samsung basically said this as premium phone feature where this slowly started becoming a must have thing for a Samsung smartphone especially on the premium ones. And by the time the Samsung S6 Edge came out this became not only a gorgeous piece of tech but also a bit functional like managing notifications or opening apps from the Edge shortcut and so on. And so other companies like OnePlus, Sony, Huawei, Xiaomi started to realize this as a very important premium smartphone feature and started to implement them on their phones too. And this is how people started to see the curved display as a premium feature on any smartphone. But it had some major problems of its own. Number one weaker displays. As good as these curves looks and feels good and fun to use, these are way more prone to getting damaged especially after an accidental fall as compared to any traditional flat displays. Even though it has a coating of the best gold glass display protection or even a good case, curved displays has higher chances of getting damaged as compared to a flat display. Which leads to the next big issue, expensive glass repair costs. Which means after breaking if you try to replace the glass, it will cost you way much more as compared to replacing a flat traditional display as curved displays still cost more than the flat displays to make and so the replacement costs and the service charges are also much higher on those. Number 3 Limited Accessories or Costly Accessories And what I mean by this is that even today it can be a top job in finding a good and cheap screen protector for any curved display phone. Like for a flat display you can just slap on a 50 rupees or a 100 rupees screen guard and call it a day. But whereas for a curved display phone first of all you barely could find a good tempered glass for around 100 to 200 rupees. Yes you could get those thin cellular black screen guards but they are barely scratch resistant let alone drop or pressure protection. For a good curved display glass protection you have to spend around 300 to 500 rupees for an UV tempered glass or even above that depending upon the phone you are using and that too could also turn into a horrific event if you try to replace it. And even after that it is not like it is gonna protect your phone from fall damage as be it flat or curved displays most screen protectors are for protecting your screen from scratches or pressures only. Now not only curved displays were fragile but also came with annoying bugs which slowly and steadily not only phone companies but also the users also started realizing. One of them was accidental touches where due to the curved size people were accidentally touching the parts of the screen which they never meant to. While this has been reduced heavily on modern smartphones using a curved display but it still happens especially while playing games or even while watching content. Along with this you get those light glows especially if you are using your phone in a well lit condition or worse outdoors under sunlight which could be distracting along with some green or blue color shift on some curved displays while seeing them from the sides. And number 5 audience realization. Like people started loving curved AMOLED displays mainly as it looked seamless and edge to edge. But when other companies like especially Apple started trimming down their bezels on their flat displays even though it was Samsung who was doing it for them but anyways instead of using a curved display. It just looked as edge to edge like a curved one. And there's no doubt that most smartphone companies follows Apple, some of them follows very heavily. And so when Apple showed that we don't need curved displays for that edge to edge feeling, trimming bezels on the flat ones are more than enough, everyone started to do it. As it was more reliable, cost efficient and also just made more sense and was more practical. Samsung or other brands did try to fix the problems of the curved displays but soon they realized that they were solving issues to the problem that they created themselves. But the easiest solution was already there, using flat displays. And so Samsung and including other premium brands are also shifting back to the flat displays and improving that tech rather than solving a problem that doesn't need to be solved. And yeah, this is the reason the industry is or might in the future move away from using curved displays on their phones. The budget companies or the budget phones are now using it to make their phones feel more appealing and premium and sell them in a large amount. And if something happens to the curved display, it will be totally up to you. These are the best smartphones ranked under 30,000 rupees or 40,000 rupees. Go give them a watch. And as always, this was Ridip and see you guys. And sorry for the late video.